what's up you guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm just gonna be doing a quick breakdown of how I'm preparing my charts for the new year for 2022 I think it's gonna be a great year in the markets I'm definitely looking at NAS 100 to start off my year and I'm just going over what I see right now obviously you can see NAS had a big uptake the whole 2021 I mean we were just shooting to the moon as you can see but I'm predicting um, that it will fall back down it's due for a market correction so I'm predicting that the market will fall on in the January first quarter at least um, before it continues to push up so I want to just come out here and just give my speculation of what I thought will be happening with Nas since it has such a great year this year um, if you've invested this would be a great time to close out any of your trades or you know close out any market profits you've made throughout the year um, and just get ready for the short so I definitely see a short coming um, and I'm prepared so I'm here marking up my charts supporting resistance as you know um, breaking it down on the different levels that I do I do teach how to do this in my 101 so shout out to all my students out there that has learned from me how to do my support and resistance I think it's the most key and effective thing you can do when it comes to your trading is to get your support and resistance down um, and like I said with Nas I definitely feel like it respects market structure the most so it's very important that you at least understand your support and resistance. So as I'm seeing here, like I mentioned, the market is due for correction. So like I said, it's been going up for about three years, as you can see here. And I'm anticipating for a big short, um, mainly because of what's happening fundamentally in the world, as well as what's going on in the markets. So um, with this market being so heavily pushed to the top, um, and then also knowing all the inflation that's happening in the world, um, there is a correction that has to happen in order for market price to continue. Um, this is just typical normal uh, market behavior. We know that this is how the market works. It has to fluctuate. Think of it as when the market has an impulse to the upside, it has to have an impulse to the downside. And therefore, this is what we're looking at for the new year. But we do have a big correction coming and I feel it and I know it. So I just wanted to come on here and share how I do my um, yearly um, preparations on my charts. I typically go down the list and see, as you can see, I have my list broken down to the right hand side. This is where I go down my list and go over how I prepare my charts. I look at fresh new support resistance areas based off of the market data that we've collected throughout the year. And then also just kind of reflect on what the moves were and to see what are good areas or key levels where we can make some money, okay? So based off what I'm seeing, I'm just marking up my key levels on different love time frames and um, just looking at, you know, structure as it is right now. Um, and like I said, it's always good to have a bird's eye view of what you're looking at before you jump into the markets. Um, mainly because you want to see how the market cycle has been behaving um, so that way you can understand how you're going to approach the market come with the new year. Of course, you got to keep in mind of the fundamentals of what's going to happen this year, um, especially with this being an index. Um, you want to pay attention to the companies that move this index the most. So for example, like big companies like Tesla, um, all their tech companies that do contribute to the NAS 100. Um, so these are very good um, stocks to take a look at and just see how they're going to behave in the first quarter. Okay. Um, but overall, um, like I said, this market is definitely looking very bullish and um, I'm just preparing myself for the new year, making sure support and resistance is on point. Um, it's very important to understand how much percentage of the market was moved. So I like to use my measuring tool to do that. Um, and then I break down how often it was moved based off of the cycles in the market, as well as just looking at the months ahead and looking at the months previously. So this is very good to do whenever you're looking at your charts, back testing, or doing any sort of market structure analysis. You always want to look at those monthly, quarterly um, earnings and see how the market performed. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me up on my Instagram or you can leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to either assist you guys with any type of one-on-one -on -one assistance or if you have any particular questions, just shoot me a message. So now back to what I'm doing in this particular area of the, you know, marking up my charts. I'm just looking at how the market has 
definitely respected this level here we can see that we have some major rejections at this level and right now it's looking like a three-pointer for me as far as like crown substructure so we're looking at at least a very defensive level here um, and I do see that since it already made three touches to the high it's looking like a crown structure so which means we have a heavy 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 downward pour coming um, whenever we see that because when the market consolidates the longer it consolidates you guys know the harder they fall all right so let's look forward to that in 2022 i'm excited i hope you guys are excited as well um, get your charts ready um, get your accounts ready you know or just get, get your mind in the game because this year is going to be phenomenal i already know it um, I could feel it and this year alone 2021 was definitely phenomenal for me I've accomplished so much this year in buying a home um, looking at new investments is also another thing that I'm looking at improving for the next upcoming year um, I'm very glad that I was able to achieve most of my goals in 2021 um, with just starting BMW and also you know getting more into my trading and investing in real estate so a lot of things have taken place in 2021 that has definitely paid off in my favor and i'm looking to continue that growth in 2022 so all i see is money okay when we look at these charts and definitely just pay attention to the markets look at what the market is telling you like i said the market always reveals itself don't over complicate anything and you will always be successful don't give up and stay in the game i'll see you guys in the next video i plan to post more often thank you guys for watching and hopefully you have a happy new year bye